Well today I'm going to show you guys how to pollinate your cannabis plants and make some new strains. So the first thing you're going to need is either a male plant just growing next to your females to do an open pollination or in this case you're going to do a selective pollination. So you'll need some pollen, you'll need a paintbrush, preferably one with some hard bristles instead of the soft ones because those ones are just going to end up getting the pollen stuck to it. Hard bristles are a little better. So get a paintbrush, a fine one, get your pollen, get a label with the name of the cross and the uh, cultivar you're tagging, and a bag to put over top of the branch to let the pollen set in for a couple of days. Uh, preferably a paper bag so that it could breathe and you don't get any suffocation happening on that branch. So let's get to it. So the benefits of doing a selective pollination opposed to just an open pollination is being able to just pollinate a single branch instead of completely um, seeding your entire crop. Just to do a little test cross. But this is also what open pollination would look like. So you just have a male kicking it next to all your females. These pollen sacs will open up and the wind will basically um, move the pollen over to all of the females and pollinate those which is happening in this case. It looks like some seeds are beginning to form but we are going to be doing another cross out here and selecting a couple branches to pollinate. So I'll show you guys how I'm going to do that. This is this is the plant we're going to do. So we're going to cross this GMO punch into the black hole and GMO back cross uh, number two, that one's the armpit pheno, it fucking reeks of onions. So we're going to try to increase some aroma on this. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is take a branch and where these white hairs are, that's where you're going to be brushing the pollen. It, you don't need a lot, like a little bit goes a long way. So you're just going to be lightly dusting that to make a couple hundred seeds and put the bag over it and tag it so you know what you uh, know what you crossed it with and which branch was pollinated by this. In this case we've got the GMO punch and we're going to be crossing it with this black hole and GMO from wormhole genetics. I've selected the number two pheno because it reeks of onions like armpit BO onions and we're going to be putting it onto this GMO punch to try to increase some funk. See what we get out of that. And I'm also going to be um, taking the pollen and crossing it over to this to one of its um, sisters, the black hole GMO line as well. This one's a number five. Um, oh, this one right here, the really, really thick leaves. And we're gonna bring this line to F2 as well and see what we could get out of that. Find something fancy. But yeah, let's get to it. I'm gonna try to do this with the camera hanging from my neck, with no hands, just so I could show you guys the process, but bear with me. So you want to try to do this on a day that's not so windy, just so your pollen doesn't carry over to your other females. Get a little bit of pollen on there. Dust your female. I'll show you guys uh, what the what this looks like in a sec after I'm finished. Dust a couple buds. Try to be careful when you're doing this so your pollen doesn't fly everywhere. Cap that back up. Be sure to change your clothes and shower after this as well just to get rid of any pollen that is going to be on your clothes because there's definitely going to be pollen on your clothes. You don't want to fuck over your other ladies. So this is what it looks like after it's been dusted. Some yellow pollen all over the white. Uh, pistols there. I did the first four nodes. So after it's been dusted, you're going to want to take a bag and cover it. So let's go ahead and do that. Just let the pollen settle in for a few days. And then we're going to tag it. So now that this is pollinated, bagged up, 
tagged up. We're gonna leave this for a couple of days before we take it off. And that'll be it. Now once you harvest your plant, you're gonna harvest the seeds off of this branch and it'll be this, cr this test cross that you made. With that said, that'll be it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for the next video.